everyone. It's 5.30 right now and it's taken me 30 minutes to get this lamp on and I'm so tired. This portion of the video was sponsored by OGX, a brand that I have been using ever since I was in middle school. I currently here have the Damage Remedy Coconut Oil Miracle Shampoo and Conditioner, which I desperately need because I took my extensions out and it's definitely damaged. And these products have really been helping me. OGX doesn't believe that one formula fits all, but rather they believe in all. With standout formulas for every single type of hair type, whether that be curly, straight, or wavy, or even coily, they have exceptional hair benefits for each different Type. Their formulas are designed to be gentle enough to preserve your hair for a hassle-free hair wash day. The OGX shampoos are also pH balanced as well as sulfate free. They also have gentle cleansing systems that remove frizz, increase shine, and also strengthen the structure of your hair after every single wash. Another thing that I love about OGX is that they believe in the power of using hair as individual expression, which is why they're very choiceful with their ingredients to deliver high-performing formulas that can help you achieve your hair goals. Now, like I said here, both of the shampoos and conditioner that I have are the Damage Remedy Coconut Oil one. I also have the Penetrating Oil, but we'll do this after my shower. Something to know about this line of products with OGX is that they help with elasticity for your hair and they also help with your hair's strength and leaves all your strands feeling protected and restored. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and wash my hair, wash my face, wash my body, and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like when I come out of the shower. See all that OGX has to offer for you and your hair. Check out the link in my description below. Below. And yeah, here's what my hair looks like before I've been working out this past week. So it's super dry Let's hop in the shower. I'm like still so tired if I seem very low energy right now It's because I can hardly open my eyes As you can see, my hair looks so soft and healthy, but this is a little sneak peek. Thanks to OGX for sponsoring that part of my video. Now, back to my regular content. I've got some ice in my hand here, and I'm going to ice my face. Oh my god, it's like 7 a.m. now. <laughs> Tell me why it took me like two hours to just like be awake. I wanted to challenge myself to do a like 5 a.m. morning routine, but I've realized that I just don't think I'm cut out for it. I don't think I am. Although, I had a really good meditation this morning. I haven't really meditated in a while, but but I've been reading this book called Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. I started reading it and they talked a lot about meditation and so I got really inspired. So for the last two days, I've been meditating and I've been doing 20 minutes, which is more than I've ever done before, but I found it to be really helpful and increased my mood and overall just like energy throughout the day. I know that taking cold showers is like incredibly good for you as well as taking ice baths and I do not have an ice bath at home. And even though I did like five minutes of a cold shower at the end of mine, it probably still wasn't as much as I should have, which is why I'm icing my face right now. You can also use an ice roller, but I just felt like using actual ice today. But anyways, we still have quite the morning. Icing your face is so good for you, and I think it can remove like acne or acne scars, as well as overall puffiness. My face is so red from that ice, but I feel refreshed and I feel awake, which is what we want. But anyways, I'm going into my cupboard here because I'm gonna take my vitamins. Um, lately, I've just been really on these gummy vitamins. These are from the brand Ollie. These taste amazing. These are the best gummy vitamins I've ever had in my life. And these are probiotic for your immune and digestive health. I eat two of those as well as two apple cider gummies. And we're also gonna pick our tea for the day. I always love to drink tea while I'm doing my morning skincare routine. I think my favorite tea as of right now is this one. It is organic turmeric tea and it tastes amazing. One of the things that I also want to do today is I really want to go shopping and just buy things for spring because I really want to feel like the season has changed and I feel like getting a spring candle or just like fresh sheets would really help liven up my mood, especially because we are definitely having a rainy spring this year, which I guess is fine. You know what they say, spring showers bring May flowers. That's what all my friends are telling me, so I guess that I can be excited for. But I feel like having some sort of spring inside of my apartment is going to make my mood a lot better, so maybe that's what we're going to do. I've also been 
really wanting to get a sweatsuit from Aritzia because I don't have one and I really want one that's like matching, a bright color, just pretty and nice. <laughs> like I did a little bit of a like roller brush or kind of it's like a heat blowing styling tool and I actually really like the way it turned out I feel like my hair looks and feels super fluffy and soft I got my tea let's have a little sip together I have my phone here and I'm gonna make a to-do list of the things that I have to do today because that will determine what I need to get ready for and you know all of the above now for starters I really want to do some cleaning because my apartment is an atrocious mess right now and I don't even want to cook because my kitchen is so messy and also my bed I need to get it made so I'm gonna say make bed do laundry and then clean kitchen start dish washer okay once everything is cleaned i'm gonna go to my computer and answer some emails because the day that i'm filming this is a weekday of course and there's a lot of texts and emails that i haven't responded to so emails um also guys my podcast launched yesterday for the first time and i'm having such a great uh like response and feedback and if you guys want to listen to it i would obviously very much appreciate that if you don't want to that's fine but i really like the way it turned out and i feel like a lot of you guys that watch my videos are watching it and really enjoyed it you can actually listen Listen to it on Apple. could still use a lot of cleaning we're gonna stop right there because I just got a text from my manager and I have a few deliverables I have to do one of them being for this sponsor I have to do a voiceover so I'm gonna show you guys how I record my voiceovers for my videos but this is gonna be for a TikTok. usually I'll sit at my desktop computer to do my work but yesterday I was sitting here and this chair is actually so comfortable so I'm not opposed to working here at all but I'm gonna go into Final Cut Pro which is my editing software that I edit all my videos on and this probably would just be easier to record it onto my phone but this is the way that I know how so I'm just gonna do it like this and then film a voice recording and send it over to my phone I've already made a script so I just have to read it off I'm also so tired right now I wish I had a coffee because I feel like I'm doing everything in slow motion but I'm resisting the urge to get a coffee because I know that I need to have breakfast first There you go. And then I'm going to edit it quickly. Okay, I just sent a bunch of emails. I'm going to close this now. And I wanted to show you guys. I actually got some packages this morning. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a haul and show you guys what I got. This might be kind of random, but last time I showed you guys clothes in one of my videos, you guys really liked it. I got this leather jacket sent to me, which is so heavy and big and just like cool. I feel like wearing this on a night out could be really fun. I feel like the yellow inside is really distracting. But if you imagine it like this, it looks really cool. They even have my name in it, like engraved, which I think is super cool. And this is from Bo and skins so absolutely obsessed with that then I got this black dress look at how stunning this is I really want to wear this to like something but I have no clue what event I would have to wear this to in Vancouver like maybe if I was in New York I would have a reason to wear this but I don't know if I have one here but anyways beautiful I also got this corset top which is so fancy as well I don't know when I would wear this but it looks like that it's a little corset and you can see the bottom is kind of flares out I absolutely love it although this top part is kind of see-through so I don't 
don't know how I would wear that. And then the last thing I got from this store is this golden dress, which is very loose in the front and it also has a lower back. And then the sides of the dresses have kind of like little ruching, which I think is really cute. Then from Lioness, I purchased this myself. I got this dress, it's like a tube top, but it's super flowy at the bottom. It kind of looks like a jellyfish, but I think it would be really cute on like a tropical vacation or a photo with like a sunset in the background. I don't know when that will happen, but actually, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I might be going to Mexico next month with my family. So hopefully I can wear this there. And then lastly, I got some bathing suits from Turk Swims. Some of these don't really fit me because they're so small, but I got this like neon green top. And then I also got these little bottoms which are so small. And then same with this white one. It is so small. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me, but the top is just literally just, it's like that. And then it's just strappy in the back. And then the bottoms again, minuscule, but I mean, I guess good for tanning. And then lastly, this is my favorite bathing suit that I got from them just because it is so beautiful, but it is this one piece and it's brown and the straps here are braided, very small in the back but I love this like crossing detail. I think it's beautiful. But anyways, that's my little haul for you guys. I'm gonna start doing my makeup and getting ready for the day. I wanna go to a cafe. I haven't even eaten yet and I'm starving. I kinda wanna get like a little savory breakfast and like a little drink set at a cafe because again, I have a lot of work to do today. I have to edit a whole entire video and I don't wanna stay home. I don't even have any food to make breakfast with. I desperately need to go to the grocery store and I need to wash my dishes because all my pans are dirty. Okay, I feel like you guys have watched me do my makeup routine so many times, so I'm not gonna go into depth with all the products, but I figured we could have a little chat at the same time. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty primer all over my face. I'm actually gonna put this pink headband on. Okay, I look kind of crazy right now. As you know, spring is one of my favorite seasons by far, and I just love everything about it. I love all the bright colors and the fact that it's Easter. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of hosting an Easter dinner for my friends. I feel like that would be really fun and wholesome, and I can video it, as well as my boyfriend was saying that we should have an Easter egg hunt at my apartment which I think is a really cute concept but guys can you believe it that it's almost been one year since I moved into my apartment like it almost doesn't even feel like that but I actually moved in last year in May and so I can't even believe that the like one year is coming up I think I'm going to keep living here because it goes month to month after my lease like ends and I think it's actually gonna be really good for me to stay here I'm getting a call from my brother got off the call with my brother he was just saying hi but he just reminded me that I have an appointment today for the eye doctor and I literally didn't even remember that so thank god that they told me because I would have forgot um so actually it's a good thing that we're getting ready because I thought I was just getting ready just to like look cute today but now that there's a purpose and a reason it's better worth just use this I've never used it before it's by rare beauty it's in the shade nearly berry but I don't have a lip liner so it looks kind of whack I need to find something to line my lips with okay that is my makeup look I got a comment like the other day saying I would love to see you do a different hairstyle and a different makeup look but girl I do what I know works for me I don't even know how to do another makeup look like sometimes I'll switch up my eyeliner but usually I do a look that looks similar like this because that's like what my face is like and then as for my hair I guess people said that when I had long curled hair like my extensions because I feel like I had that look for a while but honestly I feel like my hair is like my safety comfort blanket like I feel good when my hair is down I don't really like my hair up and it's kind of short right now so I don't know maybe I could dye it but it's also so thin this is literally all that I have of hair so I feel like if I dyed it it would all like fry off so I don't know if that would be my best intention but if you guys have any ideas for what I can do to switch up my hairstyles or my makeup looks you guys can let me know maybe there is something that would look better on me and I just don't know because I always do the same thing. Okay, I'm literally gonna wear the shirt that I was wearing right now. I have these low-waisted blue jean pants. I kind of just want something really casual. I'm gonna throw on this jacket on top and just call it a day. I'll put some perfume on. You guys know I always switch between perfumes. I guess the first one that I found here is this one. A top fave of mine. The bottle is literally crooked but this is the Yulong by Giorgio Armani. And yeah, this is what I look like. Feeling cute, I'm ready to go. We're in the car. I've been vlogging.
vlogged in the car in what feels like forever, but this morning we are gonna go to Turf. I've been here before for Trinity's birthday, if you guys watched a previous vlog of mine, but I'm gonna go for breakfast there, and it's a super cute cafe vibe, so I'm excited to get some work done there as well. They have like workout classes there, and I feel like the vibe is so high. I never drive to coffee shops, I'll usually just like walk around and see if I can find one, but since I am actually gonna do work there, I feel like it's worth it for me to go somewhere where I really love the environment, which is why I'm going there. There's also a coffee shop called There There, which is near West 4th Street, which is where I'm going. And it's so good, they have the best mochi donuts. The only downfall is that they literally don't let you open your computer there, which is like the biggest L ever, because I would stay there for multiple hours and order multiple different entrees if that was an option, but apparently it's not. Today's actually a Friday when I'm filming this, so I have the weekend ahead of me. So I'll give you guys my plans for the week, because I obviously don't vlog every single day, and you guys are always asking me what I do. Today's Friday, I have my eye doctor appointment, I'm gonna go back home, visit my family, visit my cat um, I'm seeing my boyfriend tonight and I hope we can go to like somewhere really fun like a little date I really want to go to this place called dollar shop which is a hot pot restaurant I've never had hot pot before so I really want to go maybe I'll vlog it and put it in a different vlog but that's what I'm going to do tonight and then tomorrow's Saturday I honestly have no plans for Saturday I don't have any plans for Sunday either so we'll see how the weather is usually I have plans on the weekend but I have decided that I've been going out a little bit too much and I want to reel it back in. Also editing and uploading. Now that I have this podcast and I'm back and not traveling, I have so much saved footage that I want to like film and vlog and edit and I'm just very inspired so I really want to get back into the gist of just like doing my job properly and I don't mean to say that I wasn't doing it properly before but I was very distracted and I feel like low-key focusing on the wrong things and now that I'm home I just want to create and I feel very inspired so that is what I'll be doing if there is a day of sunlight you best bet oops 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 that's awkward that is awkward sorry I just got so long And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys super soon with some more content. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment this emoji if you made it till the end. And I love you guys. Bye.